श्री हरिदास ठाकुर की से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद शिवदी तो राधा शिवास आदि बहुत भक्त की राधा कृष्ण
चंद्राय नमो नमस्ते चैतन्य चंद्राय नमो नमस्ते चैतन्य चंद्राय नमो नमस्ते
philosophies. And there are famous, six philosophers, famous philosophers. And they have six famous philosophies. You understand? Joimini, Konado, Gautamo, Jagya Varkyo, Kapila, a changed Kapila. You understand? And last of all, it is still best. You understand? And except best day of this, many philosophers are there and many philosophers are there. But these six are famous. The out of these six, except that they despise their philosophies is Taki based on little logic. You understand? And I had already said this thing. You might have heard. In Mahabharata, uh, Dhrishti Maharaj has <coughs> said in answering the question of Dharma Bhaka. Dharma Bhaka put four questions, asked four questions. To Judith Maharaj, and one of them is Kahapanta. You must know it. Not the one you know. You don't know. Kahapanta, which is the way we have to follow. You understand? Many Munis, many philosophers are there, and they have shown different, 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 different ways. You see? So we have this famous saying, Nana Munikar, Nana Moto, Joko Moto, Toto Moto. You understand? Joko Moto, Toto Moto. Many philosophers are there, and, and they have many philosophies, and they have some different, different, different paths. You understand? We have to learn. Which path we have to follow? Give us one path. You understand? We have to learn. Isn't it? So, just Maharaj answer. Just Maharaj. Just Maharaj. Just Maharaj. Get the word. Sadhu. You understand? Tarko pratishto sutayo vivinna nasa prasi yasyo matana vinna dharma syatato nita guhaya mahadana dena gata sabantha. Just Maharaj. Tarka Pratishtha Sudeya Vivinna Nasa Arasi Jasya Bhagana Vinnam Dharma Satyatva Nihita Gvaya Mahadana Dena Gata Sabantha Most important. Shruti means Veda. Do you understand? Shruti means Veda, which is received through hearing process. Shruti means hearing. Shruti means karma. And of course, meaning is by ear. You understand? The hearing process is received, this knowledge. So, one of the names of Veda is Sruti. If you put to logic and the conclusions, basic conclusions, then the Vedas will be different and different and different. Many logicians have many logics. Different logicians have different logics. Isn't it? The other day I was telling you about Sarva Murtajanya. You are the logician first. But by getting mercy of Sriman Mahaprabhu, he became Vaishnava. Mm -hmm. But uh, that day, he didn't give up that logic. So that day I was putting one logic. They say, Bani Man I have told you, I have been doing more this day. So forgetfulness. <laughs> so forgetfulness. Banni Mandumat. They say Anuman Praman. Anuman means speculation. Imaginative. You understand? Praman. The outer, this Pramana Tattva one is the Anuman Praman. Praman. So they put this logic. 
because that the civilization of this planet is a captain center. So, tell me, is it is the pack? Is the pack? So how can you believe? Which is correct. You understand? <coughs> it's an idea from man. We cannot put that. That's it. Then third one is the most important, is Aitya, oh, Pradakya Brahma. Oh, whatever I see, direct perception. Then I believe. Seeing is believing. The eye, the eye is the most important sense. If I can see, then I believe. You understand? That this motto is there, seeing is believing. But you don't know. You are a conditioned soul. And you are. Senses are defective. This is the corona part of all. The condition soul has four defects. Brahma, Pramada, different is soft, corona part of all. Isn't it? Not only, you know it. Huh? Corona part of all means defective senses. You understand? Senses are defective. It is not perfect. Then what you see, how do you know that this is perfect? This is defective. Take an example. Take an example. Get, get a glass jar and full, fill it with water and put a straight stick into it and ask the boy, how does it look? And the boy say, it looks crooked. Isn't it? The stick is straight. But it looks crooked. Don't. No? I say it is crooked. But is it true? No, stick is straight. But it looks crooked. Then how to say that what you say? What you see is correct? A thing is believing? Huh? That's a very simple example. Isn't it? Take another example. You are moving in a fast train, fast moving train. Sitting inside the compartment. You understand? The trees are standing beside the road. Look at the trees. You see, the trees are running very simply behind. <laughs> Isn't it? Then thing is believing. Or oh, trees are running. I am sitting still. I am not running. <laughs> then. Oh, this proof is correct. You understand? Not defective. So, Sruti Pramana, Vedic Pro, is correct. Pradhan Pramana. You understand? Pradhan Pramana, Sruti Pramana, Vedic Pro. Veda comes from Krishna, Supreme Personality of God. The one Supreme Person of God, Krishna says, at the Panathai, the representative of Krishna says, Vaishnava, Mahadhanas. That, that is correct. And we will accept it. You understand? My Guru Maharaj, my leader Guru Maharaj in Kofa, went to Russia, Moscow. He met the famous professor, Mr. Kadamaksi. He had conversed this course. You understand? And they are on this, they believe in this, Pradakya Brahman, what we see, seeing is believing. You understand? My Guru Maharaj said, no. Bel Brahmana, what Bel says is correct. Take, as for example, in Vedas it is said, Praniro Asthi Vistha Obhavitya. The stool of an animal, and the bone of a dead animal. They are impure, they will say. Isn't it? Upi, if we go to pass stool, to the stool room, we take bath. Why? Because we become impure. Therefore we take bath. We also feel that's our process. Isn't it? Otherwise you cannot enter into the duty room. Yeah, cannot enter into the kitchen, yeah, cannot enter into the room, all your clothes, everything is impure. 
Get back. Then it will kill me. Because when I said, this tool of an animal, and the bone of an animal is impure. And you accept it, and that's a fact. But that devil says, Sun ka bo moya. You see, concept, that's the bone of an animal. How it is pure and there, right? And the temple. You understand? It's nothing pure. And go moya ka don. It's not pure. Isn't it? We accept it. If some place is impure, spare cow dung, then it becomes pure. Isn't it? Because Vedas have said this thing. The Veda says, the stool of an animal and bone of an animal, impure. Again, that Veda says, though, Kosal is the bone of an animal and cow dung is the stool of an animal.
two types of interpretation. You understand? You know it. Two types of Vedic interpretation. You don't know. Does anybody know? No. Lakshana, Vyanjana. You understand? We say Lakshana, Vyanjana. Or in other words, we say Mukhyartha, Guna. Mukhya means chief, Guna means secondary. You understand? In English, you may say like this. Mukhyartha, Guna. Chief and secondary. But Mukhyartha, chief is accepted, not secondary. That's not accepted. You understand? So Narada, the meaning of Narada is Mukhyartha, chief is the son of Brahma. That is accepted. Not that the person was not in his Narada. No, that's not accepted. You understand? Yes. That is that. So bona fide authority is required. Bona fide. Vedic authority. Not bogus authority. Who is should not accept bogus authority? It's bona fide. You understand? So my point is, I am going to tell you this thing. Hmm? Yes, let me speak something now, then I'll go to here, what Krishna said. Hmm. In Srimad Bhagavatam, you'll find it is uh, said very clearly, very clearly, hmm, how these so called Vedic uh, authorities in the 11th canto, Srimad Bhagavatam, 11th chapter, Verse 19, it is said, Gandhudvadohan asanti asatpradancho vittam to tirthi kruta mangala bhachan hinam maya rakhyati dukha You know this Says you have a car, not only, but uh, she doesn't give milk. She doesn't give milk. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? That car will create so many disturbances, so much disturbances. We get a car. You understand? What did you not know Thakur has said? It's better, it is better to have an empty cause, empty cause, you understand? It's better to have an empty cause than to have this cause giving no meaning. You understand? But we don't have that say. So this verse says, listen to it. Here, Srimad Bhagavan. Gandhadhadhaṁ asandhi javādhyam. If you are having a cow that gets no milk, and you are having a wife that sees on chest, asandhi bhārdhya, you understand? And your body, to maintain your body, you are serving krupana dirjana, Kripana Durjana, Chapala Sukha Vala Vala Agire. Before I say, we look, Kripana Durjana, Chapala Sukha Vala Vala Agire. Isn't it? You understand? Many, many are serving government or some factory owner, some industry owner, some landlord. They can have what? Service, 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 service. Huh? Employment, 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 unemployment, unemployment. Give us employment, give us employment. So, so far, so far, so far, so We far, so 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 Give some fleeting temporary pleasure to this body. Yes. 
them. So, are you independent? If a serving creature of Durjana, you are not independent. Paragni, dependent on him, isn't it? She is Paragni no Deha, then also Pradhan, you have a son. Have you, have you a son? Not only. How many sons are there? Only one son. Is it Satsputra or Asatsputra? There are times Sat and Asat. True and untrue. In English, you may say, it's true son or untrue son. A good son, sober son, or wicked. In other words, you may say, very good son, sober son. Isn't it? Not wicked. Never disobeys you. <laughs> never disobeys you. Isn't it? <laughs> if the son will never disobey his parents, then it's soft putra. Then stand good son, so son. If disobey, a soft putra, wicked son. <laughs> so you have a son, but he's wicked, disobey him. Then stand a soft putra. Then comes bitam totir thikruto. Then next time. Mm. You have some wealth, you understand? But you have kept it with a miser, with the people. Who is this? Who is not at all a fit person to keep wealth? Or a spent crop? You spend. You understand? Or, in other words, you are saving some money, wealth for your son, oh, my son. Isn't it? If your son is wicked, extravagant, spending uselessly, then what are the necessity of saving that? Well, he cannot keep it up. That means your wealth is now is a, a wicked person. He's not at all worthy person to keep wealth. Unworthy person. You understand? That is the These are all the causes of misery. Isn't it? These are all the causes of misery. That cow who gives no milk, put it to a lot of misery. Unjust wife will put it to a lot of misery. Wicked son will put it to a lot of misery. You understand? The wealth kept by an unworthy person, extravagant, to put in a lot of misery. They are all. And this uh, body, serving Tripana Dharjan, will put in a lot of misery. These are all the causes of misery. Similarly, those who give commentary on Vedas, avoiding Krishna, you understand? They create a lot of above and destroy themselves in their society. Srimad so Bhagavatam says. You understand? In the so called Vedic color survey, they say, Oh, where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? You know? No one says Krishna, you cannot find Krishna. Krishna says, Are we to be the only Vidya? Krishna speaks life. Well, they just come from him. But they don't find, because they are not qualified persons to study there. But they are speculators. And they interpret in their own way. They make one job with. So they are not full of ability. So one must listen to this basic flow or study Veda in the guidance of a bona fide authority. This is Follow that. Simon Chaitanya. So here this Srimad Bhagavad Gita, this is Veda, essence of all Vedas, because it has come out directly from the leaves of the Supreme Lord Krishna. Come out directly from the leaves of Supreme Lord Krishna. From this, from Vedas, then 
come from breathing of Krishna. And this has come directly from lips of Krishna. You understand? All oh, the sense of all yes. our Krishna say, and we have to put on Krishna everything. You understand? Put on Krishna everything. And this is what Veda, Vedic Pro, and the Mukhya Pramana, Chief Pro, and commentary given by bona fide Vedic authorities should be lied upon. You understand? Otherwise, nothing. Isn't it? What is that? So, here Krishna says, you see, very important. It's a Hansimat Advita, as it is. Chapter 9, text 26. Ananyas chintayantama Ananyas chintayantama Jedana parjupasate Jedana parjupasate Tisang nitya vijuktanam Tisang nitya vijuktanam Yoga khemam bahanam Yoga khemam bahanam Very important. Translation by Sivu. But those who always worship me with exclusive devotion, meditating on my transcendental power, to them I carry what they lack and I preserve what they have. Very good. Krishna says, I take the responsibility. Krishna takes the responsibility to preserve what you have. And to supply, give you what you like. Huh? If you just worship him or think of him, worship him with exclusive devotion and meditate on his terms of truth, or with the one pointed devotion, Ananyas Chintaya, or his devotee, you understand? This is agony of full, complete response. In Papa Srila Prabhupada says, one who, one who is unable to live for a moment without Krishna consciousness cannot but think of Krishna 24 hours a day, being engaged in devotional service by hearing, chanting, remembering, offering prayer, worshipping, serving the lotus feet of the Lord, rendering other services, cultivating friendship, and surrendering fully to the Lord. Nine times, seven and eight, like that. Such activities are all species and full of spiritual potencies, which make the devotee perfect in self-realization, so that his only desire is to achieve the association of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Such a devotee undoubtedly approaches the Lord without any difficulty. Very simple. This is called yoga. By the mercy of the Lord, such a devotee never comes back to this material condition of life, came on efforts to the merciful protection of the Lord. The Lord helps the devotee to achieve Krishna consciousness by yoga, and when he becomes fully Krishna conscious, the Lord protects him from falling down the miserable condition of life. The yoga came This is correct. True. Experiment this thing in your life. Experiment. Anybody? Is anybody exper experimenting? No, we have no faith in it. No faith. We are faithless persons. We have doubt in it. So, so, Yatma, Vinasyati. Elsewhere, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna said, if someone has doubt, in me, in my words, he must perish. A full faith, unclenching faith. This is correct. Completely correct. No falsity. This is personal. The Supreme Authority says this thing. And we, and we must accept it. You understand? I'll tell you a story. Who was completely in it? How? Yoga came up. Krishna said, How he protects what he has and how he gives what he lacks. In northern India, 
And there was a great devotee in North India town. Have you heard this? Mahaji. It's a recent story, if you notice, so old story. Very very recent story. And true story. It's not peculiar story. No, it's true story. The great devotee is completely surrendered unto Krishna. What this verse says, Ananda Chinta Tamana, this is not the past, based on the Javi Jupana. Every moment, twenty-four hours, as Srila Prabhupada said, twenty-four hours a day is attached to Krishna. He never heard this. You understand? And very pure devotee, great devotee, and material, very poor, very poor. No material life. You understand? Very poor. But, but, he had many children. How many children have you not? Only one. He had five daughters. Five daughters. You understand? Five daughters. Grown up daughters. Marriage would be a bachelor marriage. Marriage would be a You understand? But he, he was always immersed in thinking of Krishna chanting his holy name, reading, hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. He was always in ecstasy. He never thinks of anything. Never. Only Krishna. You understand? Only Krishna. Right? His wife was always quarreling with him. What are you doing? <laughs> you produced five daughters? The whole the children are marriageable age. Why are you not thinking of their marriage? Why are you not thinking of their marriage? All is sitting here in the room, chanting Hare Krishna, reading scripture, dancing, ecstasy. What is this? It's your responsibility to give your daughters in marriage. The parents and father's responsibility. Go out, search for a bridegroom. Let the eldest daughter be given marriage. Every day his wife comes. Every day. You understand? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the wife coming there. Narsim has a wow, don't, don't, don't sound, don't sound, don't sound. Krishna is there. Who has said this in Joko Kemu Bhamyam? Is it untrue? Huh? I carry what they like and I preserve what they have. So it's Krishna's responsibility. It's not my responsibility. What do you say? Not your responsibility. Krishna's responsibility. Oh, Krishna will come and do your work. I want to listen to all these things. Why is that? Don't stop, don't stop. Oh, what do you say? Beloved Krishna, I have no belief in Krishna. Life is so precarious. You understand? Life is so precarious. So that little man, when they thought of all I don't like, this woman will never allow me to sit here now. No, I never allow, she will never allow. She prayed to Krishna, Krishna. You have said this thing in Bhakti, that Yoga came by me. So, are you not making any arrangement? Is there no arrangement for the marriage of my daughter? Pray, pray, yes, to go to Krishna. You understand? Immediately, the next day, a purpose of getting. The gentleman came and said, yes, I have a son, I want to give marriage to my son, to your daughter. And then the said, next day, from the okay. And then uh, his wife, the gentleman said, oh, very nice. But that's a worldly man. That's a worldly man. He's a poor man. And the marriage of the fixed. 
After four days, the marriage will take place. After four days, very short time. Very short time. But it's not seen at all. No money at all. Marriage means spending a lot of money, a lot of experience. Isn't it? I don't know in your Western civilization, but in our India, a lot of money is needed. And daughter's father will give so much dowry, so much demand, you understand? Mm -hmm. And give ornaments, nice sari, nice ornaments, bed, almira, trees, TV. You understand? Many people, friends will be invited, they will pay great fees. Lot of expenditure, but they have no money. The Nasimata have no money. The Nasimata is all right. You. Now marriage is now fixed. Just after four days, marriage will take place. Where is money? It's a bomb on money. Where are you sitting here? Bob! Give me money. Well, give me money.
you are dancing in ecstasy, chanting Hare Krishna. I have seen it. Oh, you have seen it? <laughs> what is this fun? <laughs> what is this fun? Baba, <laughs> how to slow? Say, Joga came on my arm. How he said that, how it is true. Krishna came in the power of nothing, we had the money and power of money. This is true story, not fake story. The recent story. You understand? Krishna never did this. It's true, but we have no belief in it. Isn't it? We have some doubt. Some say, Ah, well, we must say. So we are perishing. Out in Krishna, in Krishna's war, in the wars of his two weekend together. Isn't it? That's that is that with us so different with us. We lack the faith. We lack in the faith. Put faith, complete faith, unpleasing faith. And you get the result. It's question of faith only. And the question of faith, nothing else. Unflinching pen, strong pen. You get it. It's very simple. Put complete faith in it. Complete faith in this not the words. Unflinching. So not a second in any circumstance. You get it. It's correct. How to snow. Protects this joke of shame. Yes, definitely. You understand? Krishna has said, and the bona fide representative of Krishna, they have all said. They have all said this thing. Bhakti Vinod Thakur, great Mahajan, bona fide Acharya, I'm singing his song. But yeah, and then, will you follow me? I decide that song. So play, Mother, and also follow. <laughs>